Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put a short video together today, just running you through a quick fix on this 2005 Renault traffic, same as the Vivaro. Uh, this one's a 1.9 CDTI, and basically it's a non runner. Now I'll just show you, we've got the snap on diagnostic machine plugged in. The fault code that we're looking into now this has got a few other issues in here basically the egr valve's been in there for a while and so same with the coolant temp as well but the main issue we're looking into this one which is related to the non-running issue is this 1809 fuel pressure sensor circuit now i'll just run you through what the fault was and now we fixed it and how to test it as well so just coming around to under the bonnet obviously i've got a little bit of this stripped down but it's not really much to be honest the main thing that's just off is the actual air filter top um, but just so it can run so to leave the air flow meter plugged in because it won't run without that plugged in that's all so um, but just before we get into the video if you haven't already subscribed to the channel just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content now the fault that we've got with this one is the actual main fuel pressure switch in the rail there so this little three pin, pin switch there Now, I'll just run you through what you should have at the connector. Uh, we'll just, I'll just show you testing it with it not plugged in, and then what you should get with it plugged in as well, and just what it was showing in the faulty sensor compared to what it shows in the new sensor there. So, uh, but yeah, I'm just using a multimeter. Got it on the voltage setting for what we're checking for the supply feed and the reference wire, and then we'll just flip it onto the continuity there just to test for the air uh, feed as well. So, um, just to make it easier to video, I've just simply uh, just clamped me multimeter pin there just with some more grips to a to an earth on the engine there that's also just that way I can keep filming it and just show you what we're getting so now if you look on the plug just on the underside of it we should have the uh, the actual wire numbers there try to focus on that yes yeah, so you can just see we've got one on the left there two in the middle and just three is on the right hand side there so and we'll just mount the camera up and just show you what we're, what we're getting at each wire So we're on voltage at the minute. Obviously, this is testing the connector without it plugged in. And if we go in the first pin, the one that should be its feed there, you can see you've got a five volt feed there. The middle pin, pin two, it's reference. So 4.7, it might alter slightly that. Um, with it again, this is at this stage at this stage at the minute, this is just with the ignition on. And then if just to test the earth, if we just flip it over to continuity, just check the you just see we've got a good earth there. Now, this is the old faulty sensor. Uh, if you just check in the links in the description below, I'll put links to a sensor and where you can get them from as well. But I'll just plug that in and just show you the reading we've got with it plugged in. And that's just for now while it's plugged in. I'll just show you, might as well, while it's on continuity, just check the air first. As you can see, nothing changes there. Now if we flip it over to voltage, just check on pin 3, it's feed wire. You can see we've still got its 5 volt feed there. Get it on the reference wire, it just pulls it up, pulls it down to nothing at all. So I'll just take that out now and just put it on the new sensor. I've actually fitted a second hand sensor on this one. Look, they had one, just a second hand one, so I could try it and it has fixed it. So I've ordered a new one, but just for now, this will do just to get it running. But if we plug that one on, we'll leave it on voltage over there. And it's feed wire there, see, so we've got five volts. And this reference wire, we've got half a volt read in there. And I'll just show you. Basically, this is the issue with the um, with the faulty sensor on the signal wire. It was just pulling it straight down to nothing. And I'll just show you again. Just the earth, obviously, with the Bob one connected. It's just got a good earth there as well. So, uh, so basically, what you're looking for if you've got a faulty sensor there is. As long as you've got your supply and your earth, the middle signal wire, if it's pulling it down and it's not giving any reading at all, then it's um, that's, that's a faulty sensor. So. 
I just thought I'd put the video together and just share it in case it helps someone with the same problem. Now, it just took me a little while to find it. It's just that this fan was actually, the engine was all power washed down for an oil leak and it didn't run after it was power washed down. So I was sort of looking in a bit of a different direction, looking for something that was physically damaged by the power wash. So it did have a bit of water in the plug. So whether that has just got in quick and damaged it, um, but I was expecting it to be somewhat different. So, but yeah, it just turned out to be a faulty sensor. So. Yeah, thanks for watching again and don't forget to check out the channel and we'll see you next time.